Hey guys. All right, welcome back. Workout of the day. Today we have uh, basically three segments. We're gonna do, we're gonna start off with some static holds, and then we're gonna do some of our standard calisthenics moves, and then we're gonna do one more grouping of uh, some more alternative stuff that we don't usually get in. So all in all, it won't be too hard, but it will be full body, and uh, you should be feeling pretty good afterward. So that being said, we're gonna get started with a plank. So get in your push-up ready position. We'll be holding a plank for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, begin. Push my volumes up. Halfway there. And after this, we're doing a boat. Five, four. Three, two, one, time, very good. All right, find ourselves to our butts and hold our boat. Three, two, one, beat up. Twenty seconds left. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Very nice. Next up is a bridge. We're going to hold a tricep bridge for 30 seconds. So get in your crab walk position. And then from there, just lift your hips. Make sure you're level from your shoulders to your knees. And there's no dip in the hips. All right. Three, two, one. Bridge. Halfway. Time. Nice work. Roll those wrists as necessary. Next up is a wall sit. Give myself a slightly better wall here. All right. Wall sit. You want to be bent 90 degrees with the back of your legs, want your ankles line up on your knees, want your lower back in the wall, and the back of your head into the wall. You want your knees hip width apart, and then of course you don't want to be using your hands to support yourself. So we're trying to target the legs. All right, three, two, one, begin. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Nice work. And then the last one in the um, statics is the floor scat hold. So this is a pulling, pulling one. So you're gonna lay down, elbows down by your sides. Use your back muscles to hoist your shoulders off the ground just a little bit. Um, your core does need to be uh, tight and activated, but if you're not careful, your abs will turn this into a crunch. And so you, want, you don't want your chin and everything to roll forward. You want to be very stiff and just raise. See the difference? All right, cool. Uh, yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, floor scab hold. Your eyes should be looking at the ceiling. You will feel a little bit of a strain on the neck because we all do so much rounding of the uh, shoulders and looking down at our phones so much. This will also strengthen your neck. Fight that gravity. You got it. Those elbows down and behind you. Shoulder blades together. Time. Nice job. Grab myself a drink of water. Next up, we have our standard coming up. So instead of a uh, plank, we'll be doing 10 push ups, etc. All right, now 
Army about a third done, not too hard so far. All right, so first up, we're doing 10 standard push-ups. Of course, if you're able, I want you to do regular push-ups on the ground. Um, remember when we do our push-ups, we want our elbows to go back behind us, not out to the direction of our shoulders, okay? If you need to spread your feet for stability, you can do that. If you need to go from kneeling, you can do that. But whatever you have planted on the ground, you need to be a straight line from that to your shoulders. So if you're doing regular, you need to be a straight line from your, from your uh, heels to your shoulders. If you're on your knees, from your knees to your shoulders. Okay, let's get our 10 push-ups. I'm going to go standard. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice work. Shake that out for a second. All right, now we're going to do ten leg raises. Leg raises. Show you two options. Um, option one, leg raise with an extension. Option two, bent knee raises. So those will be a little easier uh, if you have any strain on the lower back. Okay, ten leg raises or knee raises. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice work, everyone. Next up, we have, excuse me, tricep bridges. We're going to do just like we were holding, but we're going to do active ten tricep bridges. So, our right, way back to that. Uh, Crab walk position, and we'll be doing active all the way up, all the way down. Here we go. One. Two. See how I'm pausing at the top? I'm flexing everything in my back, my glutes, and my legs. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Nice job. Roll out the wrists if necessary. All right, way to go. Next up, we have squats. So instead of holding the wall sit, we're going to do ten full range squats. So our body weight squats. It's really important that you keep your feet flat, your heels down. Uh, your toes need to track your ankles, and you want to get your foot as low as possible. We don't want to bounce. We want to stop at the bottom and stop at the top. Since we're only doing 10 reps on all these, it's really important that the form is good. All right, so here we go. Two squats. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice work. We have one more exercise for our standards, and that is the instead of holding a floor scap hold, we're going to do ten floor scap rows. So instead of holding it, we're going to go up and down. I'm just stalling while I catch my breath. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? Let's do this. 10, floor, scap, rows. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, Nice job. Drink of water. And we just have one section left. We're all done. Plus a quick cool. All 
right now we're gonna come into some some of these you've seen before some you haven't so we're gonna start with one that you have seen before and that's an upper body exercise and that is tricep push-ups so it's a unilateral move we're gonna lay down on one side so I'm laying down on my right side my right arm is gonna reach up and cup we're gonna grab my uh, lats my side right here the other hand's gonna go right here bend your bottom leg and then try to push up so like this. One. We're doing ten each arm. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. All right, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. And ten. Way to go. I am stealing some water. Just trying to go slow on the way down. Hopefully you're still doing okay. Still tracking. Okay, next up we, uh, is one we haven't done too many times. These are called straight leg kickbacks, and we're going to do ten each leg. And it's important that you remember that straight leg part of it. Um, we're going to kick straight back. And sometimes people have a habit of dipping their, of uh, kicking their foot really high, which can add a lot of extra stress on the lower back, which we don't want. We actually want to keep the stress on our, on our hands and glutes. So you're going to get in this um, table position and you're going to kick straight back. Hold it, bring it down, to the right, now left. See that one I almost started lifting up? That's what we have to fight. You want to keep it at the level of the hip. All right, those are your demos. Here we go. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, halfway there, six, six. Seven, seven, eight, like my classy sock with the hole, eight, nine, nine, last ones, ten, and ten. All right, hopefully you felt you can to do some work on those. Nice job. Next up, we have one called Superman Waves. And this is gonna uh, be in our lower back and also some of our shoulders. And it takes a lot of core just to hold yourself. So you're gonna get in a Superman position, which is this. Then what you're gonna do, keep your feet up, keep your arms up, out the way there. And wave like this, and then sit up a little. It's gonna be, and you wanna go, you wanna have control. And if you feel any pain in your lower back, then you don't have to raise your chest up, or maybe just a little less, okay? So we're going to do 10 of those Superman waves. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Make sure you're not letting your toes touch or your fingers. Nine. And nice job. Just gonna do a quick child's pose. Stretch my back out for a second. All right, way to go. Next up is these are called two-way plank jacks. So you're gonna be in a plank, pop your feet out like they were doing a jumping jack, but in a plank position. Then when you hop them back together, you turn and do a side plank, and you uh, open your feet. So here's your demo. B. 
Mike, Jack, Side Star. Mike, Jack, <laughs> Side Star. All right, obviously, I'm gonna have to dial in my bounce a little bit, so I'm gonna be going slow on these. 10, uh, ten um, two way plank guys. Okay, here we go. Jack. I'm gonna rotate like this, then raise away. There we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. That one's a little awkward. I just have one more exercise. I'm stealing some water now, though. Okay. So, last exercise is sort of a combo. It's a front lunge followed by a side lunge. So each leg will get two lunges. Now it counts one rep before you do the next leg. So we're going to do front lunge, side lunge, and then another leg. Front lunge, side lunge. Five each leg, here we go. That makes one. Two. Three. Four. Five. job. Take 20 seconds or so to catch my breath and uh, we'll cool it down. Great work. Great. Nice work. Let's go ahead and start. Let's spread foot straddle. To the front. All right, over to one foot. All right, other side. All right, static butterfly. Right, we're gonna take one of those feet, pull them out. There you go. Spine Diva. If that's okay, go ahead and go back to your shoulders. Alright, same thing other side. Spine Diva. Elbows are good, go ahead with the shoulders. If that's good, go ahead and close the knee. Nice. Child's pose. Right up the table position, thread the needle. Switch sides. Right 
that for dog. Shut to a down dog. Hands to your feet, try not to bend your knees. Forward bend at the waist. Standing. Now we're going to finish with three good mornings. Yourself, and I will see you next time. Thanks for coming.